Hi guys, it's Jonathan Chown here with J Chown Golf at Crondon Park Golf Club in Essex. And today what we're going to share with you is a brilliant little drill we can do to fix our path. Now this could be a path that's excessive out to win for a slice, or it could be excessive into out for a hook. But before we do that, please make sure you like and subscribe. It helps me out tremendously so you can keep up to date with all my instructional videos. Right, so let's get into this drill. So what we've got to do with this is we're going to work on a drill that's going to get us in the perfect path for your golf swing every single time. So there's two things we really need, three things even. We need two baskets. Now, this is more for if I'm on a driving range, so I'm on a driving range map. So I'm going to put these baskets here. Now I'm going to sort these baskets out in a way to really help me for a slice shot. So if I'm a slicer of the golf ball, this is what we're going to do. We're setting up a little station here. So you can see I've set up two baskets here on a diagonal angle from either side of that golf ball. Now what I need, I need two alignment sticks. So with these alignment sticks, what I'm going to do, I'm going to place them out the basket at about a 45 degree angle. So we can see a 45 degree angle here. Now, how I've got these baskets set up, I've got my ball and I've got this basket, the back basket, a little bit outside my back foot, about half a grip's distance away from the ball and I've got the front basket, a little bit outside my front foot, half a grip's distance again from the ball to the basket. Now, why have we set up this like we have? Now, we've set up this in this way for a slice path, is if I swing back and I come down in my downswing and I come, let's say, extra out to him, maybe I'm an over the topper. If I do that movement here, I am gonna crash into this basket and I am gonna hit the stick. It's not gonna be a fun time. So what have I got to do from there? I've got to swing underneath this stick. It's the same principle with this one here. If I manage to miss this stick and I'm still swinging a little bit out to it, I'm probably gonna hit this stick past the ball as well. So for me to manage to miss both of these, I've got to swing underneath the sticks the whole time. So if I do a little one here where I'm swinging underneath the sticks, I'm going to really try and keep this club behind my body for the entirety of the swing, for the extreme feeling. Again, if you're a slice of the ball, this will be brilliant. So let's try that. Swing underneath the sticks, going to miss them as much as I can. And we get a nice drawy ball flight there. So if you're a slicer, get doing this drill. It's perfect for you. So this is for slicing. But what happens if we're a hooker of the golf ball? So what we do, we just swap over the sides of the baskets. Keep them in the same bit with the alignment sticks. So we can see now the front baskets in front of me, the back baskets behind me. Same how we're setting it up. We're setting it up as in we've got our golf ball here. So we're setting up to our golf ball, front basket just outside the front foot, back basket just outside the back foot. About half a grip's distance either side. So this one can move forward a little bit. And this again, if we hook the golf ball and we've got an excessive path from into out. The same principle here, this is going to be more of a challenge for me, that'll be my problem at times, is if I go too into out, I'm probably going to crash into the stick on both sides. If I'm going from in and then out, I'm really going to struggle with that. So if you struggle with a hook path, again, the same thing as we with the slicing station, we want to avoid the stick. So what's going to happen? I'm going to be swinging a little bit more out to win, where for me, it would probably neutralize my path quite a bit. So if I give this a go here, if I do a poor swing, I'm going to hit the stick and I'm going to hit the stick on the other side. So it's immediate feedback. So let's give this a go here. I'm going to miss the sticks on either side. There we go. I've probably got a one yard fade there, which for me is good. So if we're really struggling with this problem, let's set up these baskets. I'm going to cut to another little view from my point of view on how we can do this and what it looks like from your perspective. So well, we can see I've got my sly station set up. I've got the back basket just about outside my back foot with about a grip to half a grip's length. So this could actually move a little bit closer to me. And we've got our front basket there just outside our front foot. And again, about a grip's length. Again, that can move a little bit further forward. So if we're a golfer who really comes over the top here, what we're going to do, we're going to crash more into that stick. And we don't want to do that. We want to avoid it. Our body's going to do its hardest. It's going to try its hardest to go underneath these sticks and miss them. So we really are promoting that club head being more behind you coming into the ball and more coming round your body. So let's give it a go here. So I'm really trying to keep this stick from more often avoiding those sticks, really swing underneath them. 
And there we go, a nice little draw down there. So, if we're a golfer who struggles with a hook though, what we've got to do, we've got to mirror image these baskets. So we've got to put this basket more at the front, so the front basket at the front, the back basket at the back. So again, we know our little measurement kind of ideal. I can already see here, I've overdone it a little bit, how we've got to have this back basket about grip to half a grip. So again, that can move forward. And the back basket, or the front basket there, has got to move a little bit forward there. It's got to be about half a grip's distance again. So, here we go, this will be more of a struggle for me. I've got to avoid hitting knee sticks from in to out. I've got to miss them and be more out to win here. So, let's give this a go. Nice little swing to make sure I miss the sticks. Good, so this is our way that we're gonna be able to set it up. So make sure you get your basket in the appropriate place, 45 degree angle with these sticks. Really, it's to a point where you feel like you're gonna hit them. If you feel like you're gonna hit them, that is absolutely perfect, because we wanna try extra hard to miss it. Obviously, we don't wanna make it impossible, we wanna make it challenging, but if we don't feel like we're gonna hit them at any point, it's not making any difference to our golf swing. This is one that's more set up for me in the anti in the anti-hook station I get a little bit into out and I feel like I'm going to hit these sticks when I'm swinging I really have to try extra hard and that's the point of this drill we've got to try extra hard to miss them so to summarize here guys what we've got to do if we've got an extreme path one way or the other that's really affecting our curve in a negative way the best way in my opinion to practice this is having a station set up like this whether it's for a hook or a slice. If we really want to ingrain a good feel, we've got to try and ingrain the opposite first. It's like with my example, for me, if because I will get a little bit too into it, I've got to practice like this where I'm getting maybe a little bit more out to win than I'd like, because then when I take it away, well, I'm not having to avoid the sticks, I'll be dead on. So this is how we're going to practice in this way to really ingrain it as fast as we can for pass. Because once our path is good and ingrained, it stays for quite a long time. It's one of the variables that doesn't shift off too hard once we've got it good. So again, if you like that video, please click the like, press subscribe. I'm going to be uploading a lot of instructional videos to YouTube coming up. I've also got my Instagram, which I'll put in the link down below. So I put a lot of extra content on there, five to six videos a week. That's J Chown Golf as well. So get practicing this and let's get your path better.